Okay, I'd like to take a few minutes to talk about a uh, use of the software to better uh, communicate with patients. So I have a patient pulled up here and uh, it's one of my patients and uh, this isn't about what the right treatment is, do we have enough bone, do we not have enough bone. At this stage we're just trying to present the patient the various options and what I find one of the best ways to do that is just to visually show them uh, what the different options are. So if we look at this patient and <coughs> uh, let's pretend in which we are, we're going to maintain the teeth that she has on the upper, uh, but she would like a new option for the lower and a new option, uh, some option for the upper left. Uh, and the truth is, is we have multiple options. Uh, uh, and that's part of the problem, I guess. I guess one option up here is we can put one, two, three implants in. Uh, then down here, we could look at doing a lower high, uh, do a lower overdenture put, by putting two implants in. Uh, another option would be uh, to do one implant, two implants, and then do a bridge connecting them. Uh, another option would be uh, to do a hybrid restoration here uh, or we could even have an option of uh, doing uh, for the lower we could even have the option of doing one two three four five six seven or eight implants and then doing segmental bridges a fixed bridge restoration so when we have all these different options uh, oftentimes uh, most of us many of us know this already but uh, many of us don't realize uh, a quicker way to plan it and also how to visually show the patients uh, to do this in advance and have it ready for the patients to show them and uh, the, what we're going to talk about today is using the plan feature here in the software uh, if we go to plan we can create new plans we can have multiple plans for the patient and we can literally just flip through them when we're going over with the patient so um, so for speed sakes, I went ahead and uh, let's focus on the lower option right here. Uh, so I went ahead and planned a lower overdenture. Now just so you guys can understand, uh, in this particular case, since we do have a ridge that does this, what I plan on doing here is reducing the bone. One, it'll make everything easier for us, and two, it'll give us the restorative space we need, and it'll give us a nice flat ridge so that we don't have that knife edge uh, with the implants. So um, uh, I just want to keep that in mind. So in this particular case, once I've planned these out and I'm ready to uh, the, do the next option, which would be a fixed hybrid, I'll simply come up here to plan, duplicate, and now we'll call this a lower fixed, let's just call it uh, a lower all on four. Okay, and then we'll click OK. And what it does is it keeps those implants there. And now I can just come in and add my additional implants and just just to make it a little bit easier I'm going to uh, roughly plan these implants you know I would probably do these at a 30 degree uh, uh, angulation there and then move that one over move that over a little bit and then go ahead and put one in the 29 spot just like so so there we go. So now I have that roughly planned. Now whether that's accurate or not is not a point right now, but just roughly planned. And then I can go back here and I can switch between the two plans and say, Mrs. Jones, uh, one of the options that we have here is we can look at doing a lower overdenture, or we can consider doing a fixed hybrid in this particular case, and we're able to switch between back and forth. And then we also have a legal documentation of the various plans that we did put together. Uh, so uh, hopefully you guys are all using the plan feature here. We can duplicate a plan. You can, uh, let's say like this plan one, I want to edit it. I can come up here and click properties and then I can write lower over denture. And this way the plans are saved in the software under the various names. As you can see here, I have a lower hybrid, which I planned before we got on here, a lower all on four, a lower over denture, and I even plan the upper left. So I plan for three implants. And let's say the patient says financially, I don't want to do that. So I would just come here and go to plan, duplicate plan, and I would do upper uh, left implant bridge. So we just come in here, click that, and in the bridge, I would just come in here and delete that implant. So now I can show the patient upper left ideal, three implants, 
or I can come up here and show her what a bridge would look like and uh, that way we can compare the different finances and have the patient make a decision. I uh, hope you guys found this helpful.